Hi, it's Donna, your homegrown gourmet, part of the Gourmet Are Good Enough team with my sister Diane. Today, I'd like to make some fig jam. Right now, I have my water bath going and I'm sanitizing my jars. I've assembled all my equipment. I've cleaned and prepped my figs. So let's get started. Last night, I cleaned and prepped my figs. I washed them, I removed the stem, and then I cut them in quarters, half. I have five pounds of fresh figs and six cups of sugar. I put this in the refrigerator last night and allowed it to macerate all night long. And now we're going to cook it down until it's nice and thick. So we're gonna go on a medium heat. And when it starts to uh, bubble, we're gonna keep a really close eye on it because we don't want it to burn. So my figs have been cooking for about 40 minutes now. It's bubbling nicely. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a tad. And rather than use a potato masher and mash it up, I'm gonna opt for my immersion blender. I'm gonna help it thicken even more. We're going to allow this to continue to simmer until it's thick. Okay, our figs have been cooking on top of the stove for about 50 minutes. It's really thick. I'm going to lower the heat and I'm going to add a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice and then half teaspoon of vanilla. And then we'll cook it for one more minute and then we can start processing our jam. I did a quick test to make sure it's thick enough. Put a little dab on a plate, stuck it in the fridge for a little bit. And as you can see, I can run my finger through there so I know it's thick enough. So we're good to go. We filled to within a quarter of an inch from the top. I like to wash more jars than I think I'm gonna need. One of the most important things when you're canning is you want to start with some obviously sanitized uh, jars, wipe the rim and keep it clean, and then the lids, you wanna keep the lid warm so that that rubber ring on the inside is pliable, and that creates a really nice seal. And then we just cover it with the ring. With a nice little twist, finger tight. On to the next one. So now we have our boiling water. It's just a matter of putting our jars in. And we need to set them down. And then it comes back up to a boil and we process it for 10 minutes. So my figs processed for 10 minutes. I removed them from the hot water bath and allowed them to cool. Now I'd like to give you a few tips on how to store. You never want to keep the ring on your canned product because if there is a problem with the seal, the lid will um, bubble and you'll have a little button on top and it's real easy to tell if your product is properly sealed. So remove the ring. Never store your product on top of one another because again, that will prevent a popping of the lid if there is any problem with your seal. And then make sure you label it properly with the date. I have nice labels that I use for gifts, but then to save myself some money, I usually just write down on some freezer tape the item and then the date. And here is my finished jam. And I just want to show you the consistency. That is some beautiful, beautiful jam. I think this is going to be a winner. I think I'll enter some of this in the state fair this year. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below and check the description box because I'll have links for other recipes using my fresh figs. Ciao.